My name is Garrett Heilman. I'm a research fellow at the University of Cambridge, and my claim to fame is that I was one of the first academically trained economists to take an interest in Bitcoin and blockchain technology. So as we look into the future and, and the you know, reward of new Bitcoins is reduced from the current 12 and a half down to about 6.25 new Bitcoins every 10 minutes, in, uh, by, which will occur around July 2020. Uh, every four years that reward gets cut in half. Uh, eventually you get to a point where the nominal number of new Bitcoins you were earning for mining Bitcoin uh, becomes quite small. Now, if the price of Bitcoin continues to climb uh, above 100,000 per Bitcoin, then you know mining a tiny fraction of, of Bitcoin still is quite lucrative. But ultimately, the number of new Bitcoins uh, coming into existence through mining will be cut to zero. We'll hit the 21 million limit, and the only direct financial incentive left to mine Bitcoin will be transaction fees. And there's an open question as to whether or not the transaction fees will provide a sufficient financial incentive to maintain uh, the kind of computing power that Bitcoin enjoys today, which is essential to its security. If the uh, you know, computational power uh, applied to the Bitcoin network is reduced sufficiently, it makes it arguably easier to mount a 51% attack to disrupt the network. Um, and so there could be um, some issues down the road if, if uh, you know, um, the, the rewards are not sufficient. Uh, however, there could be reasons for people to want to uh, subsidize the cost of mining if Bitcoin continues to be a valuable asset because simply they own a lot of Bitcoin and so they're willing to uh, lose money on mining to maintain a secure network.